As we travel through New South Wales along Australia's legendary Pacific coast, we continue to see spectacular beaches. One strip of beautiful white sand and turquoise water after another. We're in cooler weather now, so we've been free camping whenever we can. The sandy swimming and surfing beaches alternate with rugged scenic coastline. Today we'll be getting a bird's eye view of seal rocks and the dramatic coastline surrounding historic Sugarloaf Point Lighthouse. When we arrived, we were greeted by a pair of kookaburra birds. These two are being quiet, but we've heard them in several places, including our first stop in Port Douglas, and this is what they sound like. We also caught our very first fleeting glimpse of a dingo. We missed getting our only other dingo sighting on video, so we'll show you this one again, a little slower. Of course, we'll be walking from the entrance station up to the top of the hill to see the lighthouse up close. But before we do, we want to check out the view from the Headlands Lookout. Unsurprisingly, along the legendary Pacific coast, there's another gorgeous beach down below. We'll just follow this grassy area to the lookout. As you might expect, my attention was focused into the distance as I walked out onto and across the lawn, eager to see the spectacular view that awaited me out over the bluff just beyond the fence. What a peaceful and safe place to take a leisurely stroll. <laughs> Wow, look at that view. But as I took my last step, I had a fraction of a second to wonder why the ground was so soft and mushy here before I screamed and did a backflip. I had stepped directly on top of this. I wasn't filming at the time, but despite the fact that I'm terrified of snakes and my heart was racing, I wanted to get footage so I could find out what type of snake it was. So I grabbed the camera that's the camera strap hanging down in front of the lens, not another snake. And I got my video clip. If you're squeamish about slithering snakes, now might be a good time to look away. Here's a closer look at this beautiful, but scary, snake. Armed with video evidence, we immediately headed into the lighthouse office to see if they could help us identify it. Referencing a book on local flora and fauna, Judy was a great help in determining that I had stepped on a carpet python. Oh, it looks, yeah. it looked just it like that. very effective, similar to that. Effective yeah. camouflage in trees. Carpet pythons are the most widespread group of pythons in Australia occurring across much of the mainland. Robust snakes, they may vary considerably in color and form. Now that I'm safe, I'm kind of hoping that I'd had a close encounter with a deadly snake. You know, to make a better story. What does it say about their venom level? <laughs> well, the uh, carpet uh, rat catchers, carpet pythons, were frequently used in warehouses to keep down rats and mice. <laughs> they were reckoned to be better than cats because they could get into places where nests were located and eat the young rodents as well. That was clever. Um, well, I can tell you from experience that they're rather soft. <laughs> oh, my goodness! <laughs> my goodness! So it turns out they're not venomous. But I'm still so happy I didn't get bitten. Judy also told us how to warn snakes that were coming, so they'll get out of the way. I would encourage you to stamp your feet as you walk. Uh, very good. <laughs> very excellent advice. We're, thank you, Judy. We're going to walk to the lighthouse now, and you can listen as we do it. There will be no snakes. Now that my heart rate is back down, it's time to raise it up a little bit again, 
climbing the steep hill to the top. We really love historic lighthouses and visit them whenever we can. Sugarloaf is a classic beauty, first lit in 1875. And the views are magnificent in every direction. Guess it's time to head back to the camper van. After a while, we just stayed in one spot and let the ruse wander around us. I know they're probably just expecting me to feed them, but their willingness to come so close is unnerving. If they keep moving toward me, I'm out of here. <laughs> 